Okay, we have already covered the first two topics, so we can call the questions related to first two topics, that is we can call questions 1 to 12. Okay, see, this assignment is given to you specifically in the interview in mind, because just solving textbook questions is not enough. Often, JW equations are very short. 
like this. Right? Okay, let's go to the next question. Now, in the next question, I think we just want to write something here in the second question. Right? Excluding atmospheric pressure, that is, except for the atmospheric pressure, how much thrust is acting? Okay, that's what you have to write in that question. In the second question, please write this bracket, it is missing. Okay, in the second question, please write the bracket. Uh, sir, what was Sorry? First? Okay, you have to follow it. Not wearing specs, is it? Will this help? Coming this much close? Thank you. Okay. So here you are asked to write Okay. So question two. Tank with length 10 meter. Breadth 8 meter. So it's like a cuboid. And depth 6 meter. So depth or height, whatever you call it, so it's like this. Okay, I hope that's clear. Right? What's the height? What's the height? Six. And it is, and it is completely filled with water, right? Filled with water to the top. Completely. Water density is 1000 kg per meter cube. Thank you for informing. I'm going to write it. If G is equal to 10 meter per second square, then the thrust, okay, thrust that is what force. We have to find how much force is acting on this bottom. We, we have told earlier a, a question like this. Have, haven't we? About a can or a cylinder and we want to find what the force at the bottom. How do we do it? What's the method? Pressure into area, yeah. isn't it? So we'll find the pressure over here. Is that okay? We'll find the pressure at this bottom, right? But yes, don't forget this. We have to exclude atmospheric pressure. So actually pressure at this point B, PB, pressure at the bottom will be equal to PA plus rho G into 6. I hope that's clear. Because water is still till the top. Okay or not okay? But like I said, we have to exclude which pressure? Atmospheric. Alright. Okay, because it is given in the question. Suppose that was not mentioned in the question, you don't have to exclude. Alright? So, ignore this part. Okay? And now what to do? This is pressure. Ignore this part. Okay? Don't forget that. And then, then what? Find out force. For finding force, you need pressure are you? Where to do it? Area. How much is the area of these? How much is the area of that bottom surface? 80 meters square. Clear or not clear? Do it. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. Get the answer. Do you remember of 
some examples. We need a part eight. Okay, okay number four. Number four. So two vessels A and B of different shapes have the same base area and are filled with water up to a height x. The force exerted by water on the base is F A for vessel A and F B for vessel B. The respective weights of water filled in vessels are W A and W B. Okay, we have to see which one is first of all. Are the heights same? So pressure at A and pressure at B will be fine. Okay. Now what about force? Have the same base area. Did you read that? In the first line, have the same base area. So if the base area is same and pressure also same, isn't it? Base area same, pressure same. Then force is also fine. Okay. Next question. But you uh, force is safe. Okay, that's a weight part. Excuse me. I thought um, I thought that it's only about pressure. So pressure is equal, all right. Force is also equal because area is safe. Right? So that's what we have done. Now what about weight in the fourth question? Weight. Weight that is what? Mg. So what about the mass? What do you think? Which which part which vessel does have more mass of liquid? A, A or B? A. For both equal. A. A because A is broad, it's built in the same height, so volume is more. If volume is more, obviously mass is more. Easy now? Okay, so here the weight of A is more than the weight of B, right? Because mass is clear. Now the I am giving you one minute to read the question and understand the diagram. Hopefully it's not too small. Something like this. This height is given. L and this is 2. What do we have to find? What do we have to find? Force exerted by by fluid at which point B at the end B or at the point B here, right? Okay. And then neglect atmospheric pressure. See what, why is this written everywhere? You know because otherwise what happens is that you consider the air pressure here, atmospheric pressure. Okay. You have to consider the air pressure everywhere, and similarly over here also there will be air pressure from outside. So what we are thinking is that the characteristic or the property of this tube is irrespective of air pressure. If there is air pressure, it will be here also and here also. Fine. Right? So we are not really interested in what the air pressure. We are only interested in what happens because of the tube. I hope you understood what I am saying. Right, but the atmospheric pressure is there. That's no big deal. It's there, right? So we are just interested in how this tube behaves, right? So once again, we have to exclude atmospheric pressure. Don't forget, right? So can you can you tell me what will be the pressure at B? I'll give you a hint. Use this line. I hope that helps. Can you find out what will be the pressure at B now? Take this point as A. I think that's you. Yeah. A, B. Can you relate their pressure? What will be B? What do you think? B equal to? 
Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Come on, please. It's a simple question. I'm sure you all know the answer. Is it equal to? Come on, come on, boys. Over here. Yes. Yeah, you sitting near the window. Not you, Roman. Ah, uh, what's your name? Rodiel is your name. Nah, just joking. Okay. What's your name? Tapar. Okay, Tapar. What's your answer? Rodiel. Ro. E. L. Why L? Not two L? Because this is at depth L. Up uh, below it. Fine. I hope you are not confused by the shape. Shape does not matter. Right? Of course, actually it would be plus atmosphere, but like I said, very good. not considering that. Okay, that. Okay, so PB is rho j. Fine. Now we don't have to find pressure. What do we have to find? Force. Okay. 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 Into. Okay. See, all questions of fluid mechanics are not so easy, but all are not that tough as it is. Question 6. question and understand it. Figure new draw karo ne, po phara phara draw karo. Bo, eo dhyan ne ra karo ke bara bara chiyo ke ne. Nobody is going to check your heart, okay? that there are two fluids given right and they have different densities rho and two rho and this whole thing is moving with an acceleration here money yeah acceleration now we go fbd outside okay so this is having an acceleration A on the horizontal plane that is towards the right side as you can see if the height difference between the two surfaces is open to the atmosphere that is open from the top as you can see in the diagram right if the height difference between the two surfaces is open to the atmosphere becomes zero then the height edge is given by then the height H is given by. We have to find how much is that height H. A few, you know, a few pieces of information are given. First of all, density. Two liquids are there. One with density rho and the other one with two. Okay. The other is moving with acceleration A. The third one is that both heights are equal. Did you understand that? It is given that the difference becomes zero. That's an indirect way of saying that both heights are equal. Okay. Then we have to find that. Okay. Now, there is one more key word in this question. If you miss that, you can never solve this. Same volume. You understand what I am saying? There is same volume. Like with that. Don't miss that one. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve it. So, whenever when this diagram is drawn, do you realize that the left part is one liquid same volume then the right part is another liquid same volume okay sure keep that in mind now let's draw that so the tube is like this and here we go now which liquid do you think should be on the left side and which one should be on the right side if this is having acceleration a and these heights are same. Which liquid do you think should be on the left side and which one on the right side? 
there are two liquids one with rho the other with two rho which one should be on left and which one should be on right fine no problem anyone final chance before i start explaining anyone would like to give some answer which one do you think would be on left or right and why if you give an answer confusing the heavier one the two row density should be on this side and this other one should be over here i'll tell you what listen to this carefully we will draw the fvd of this portion any length i think any length i mean yes we draw fvd of this one okay so here is that portion first of all we will think of its mass mass of this portion how do you find mass density to volume clear okay so half of it right half of it is Rho. Uh, I'm saying that left side is two. You'll see why when I write this. Suppose cross sectional area is A. Cross sectional area is A. And our area is so our volume can be that L by two. Yes or no? Yes. Now the other part has Rho L by two. Correct? What's this? What's this? Ah, cool. Let me see something. Mass of which part? The load. So, because we are drawing FVD by putting all the forces, we are going to get mass into. Easy now. Because we are going to draw an FVD ultimately, total force equal to mass. Understood what I am doing? Absolutely. Now, the question is. Which force is that? There will be gravity. There will be downward. We are not interested in downward. We are only interested in left side because we know this is moving on right side in a horizontal. Understood? So don't worry about M. It's there, but we are not drawing it. Why to draw it? Because if we are never going to use it. So which other forces could act on this system? Atta part will be just support coming. If there is no force, remember acceleration will be zero. So there is definitely some force. Go to the fire. Think about it. Think about it. You can't say there is no force, like I said. Understood? Because if there is no force, there will be no acceleration. Work together. Tension noise. Okay, agreed. Normal force noise. Okay, remember. Solids apply normal force. Liquids no. Mg not the left because it's downward. We are talking about left. Buoyant force only acts on solids immersed in a in a atmospheric force. But it's not here, lad. Well, you see what happens is this is. Suppose you mark one point A here and mark one point B here. Then do you agree that there will be some pressure at A? And what does the fluid do when it applies pressure? It pushes. Same idea here. Did you understand this FVD? If yes, please raise your hand. I'll I'll try it. I'm saying that if this area is A and here at this point A the pressure is how much? P. P. So how much will be the force that is pushing? Remember, pressure always pushes, right? Sure. For example, when you fill up a balloon with pressure. Does the do the walls go away or do they come close? Walls of a balloon go away. Okay, that is the gas pushes. Fine, same thing here. The liquid over here is going to push this. Thing. So you have pressure acting on that side, force acting on that. At this point, this is going to be opposite. It's going to push it down. In a thing, agar zero samjha to ek bhi tar. Sab pata empty thay jaye magically. What will happen? Suppose one part becomes empty by magic suddenly, what will happen? After that, ah, my dear, ne. So do you realize that there is some opposite force which is stopping it from going there? And just like that, imagine if this if this remains but this one disappears, what will happen? 
काम आ जाए सो अगेन देयर इज सम फोर्स दैट इज स्टॉपिंग इट फ्रॉम गोइंग देयर एंड टू ओके सो दिस इज पी ए एंड पी बी नाउ इन व्हिच डायरेक्शन इज दिस एक्सेलरेशन सो व्हिच फोर्स शुड बी मोर व्हिच फोर्स शुड बी मोर पी बी और पी ए और पी बी ए पी ए इफ पी ए इज मोर देन पी बी ए व्हिच प्रेशर शुड बी मोर व्हिच प्रेशर शुड बी मोर I repeat my question. I said that this is having acceleration to the right side, so this force has to be more than the other one. Clear so far? Mm -hmm. Now I'm asking if this force is more than that force, which pressure is more, PB or PA? PA. PA. Of course, isn't it? The area same, then? So our pressure will be over here. Got it? Now, think. Go back to that original question. Which liquid or which liquid? Now you will get the answer. If you know that for same height, the pressure on this side is more, then don't you think density should be more? Yes. Who understood that? I repeat. Whenever you think of variation of pressure with density, so we write a formula in this form, isn't it? So if rho is more, the pressure will be more. I hope everyone sees that. So it is quite clear that because the pressure on this side is more. That's why this liquid should have more density. Height is same, right? So this is two rho. Understood? How I knew this would be two rho. Okay? It's actually quite simple. Whenever such a thing would happen, the heavier liquid will push the lighter one. Okay? That is what happens in normal case. In such a case, in such a case, there is excellent. So this is what we get. I guess you look good. एफ बी डी बना एक चैप्टर आवडे तो ओलु पाछनु बुलाई जाय एव नो करो सो सिग्मा एफ हाउ मच आर टू व्हाट आर द फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस वन डेटा फोर्स है क्लियर व्हिच साइड डू वी टेक ऑल द यू राइट साइड सो लेफ्ट साइड एनी यू सू लको आनो है लको लको जे सू लको जे पी ए ए माइनस पी बी आई होप दैट इज क्लियर आगे Again, this is nothing but Newton's second law at work. If anyone is finding that uh, you, know, you are struggling with physics. The first recommendation that I make is go through the notes of chapter two to six. Unless you understand most of the things given over there, you'll always have uh, you know minor problems everywhere, right? Bolle ra chapter fluid mechanics. Ab bolte fluid fluid. But first step is the law of motion. So, if you don't know it, then I know that. Did you do it further? What answer do you get? Answer. आप ही दिलवाए बराबर. तुम्हारे वो that's the main thing. मैं तुमने अपना कुछ what is the answer? मैं तुमने अपना कुछ what answer do you get? See the difference. अभी जाइए. So you have a common answer. A minus P B. 
Do you agree that P A should be atmospheric pressure plus two rho G H? Yes or no? Yes or no? So it's what? Minus P B. What's P B? Again, take one point here. So atmospheric pressure plus rho G H, but minus plus minus. Okay, because there is a minus sign here. I hope you are not surprised. Okay, is equal to. On the right side now, can you add this? Don't cancel two. Three rho L A by two into it. Now it's very easy. A is cancelled. Atmospheric pressure is cancelled. And rho is cancelled. All right, and you will be able to get H. Are we going to answer? Okay. Let's go to question seven. Uh, I request all of you, please do not write the question. Okay? Assignment no question. Assignment. Tomorrow, pass it. Textbook question. Textbook. Okay. Tomorrow, pass. Okay. Instead, spend the time trying to solve. Everyone, see. कोई तुम्हारी book check नहीं करे. Hi, Ashi, how are you? Okay. कोई M नहीं जो है कि तुम्हें question लेगा कि नहीं. बराबर लेग कुछ है तो not necessary. एवं कोई तो ध्यान रखो ऐसा तो आप रेंट इलेवन पे त्राण वर्ष है पूर्ण तो, ओके? एंड रियली वी डोंट हैव दैट मच टाइम ना, ओके? नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन रीडिंग ऑफ अ स्प्रिंग बैलेंस when a block is suspended from it in air in 60 newton so I got reading now given a tension I hope you remember what the spring balance measures the tension so indirectly we measure mass or weight okay so when you suspend this block in air suspend means hanging like this is spring balance and this is hanging in air at that time how much is the reading 60 so do you agree that this 60 Newton will be nothing but mg of this block? Draw it at me. Upward force, upward force, tension. Downward force, mg. So when in equilibrium, fine. Huh? Now it is in air. So from every side the force will be same. So no F. Second part. This reading is changed to 40 Newton when the block is submerged in water. What is the meaning of submerged? How much? Yes. Submerged. Remember submarine. That will help you understand that submerged means completely hidden. Got it? So second case. What is the second case? This is some liquid. And here is that block. Once again, completely inside, and it is still hanging by that spring band. Now we want to draw a FPD of this. Okay, and we know that new reading is E2, which is equal to 40 Newton. Your equation or not? Yes or no? Sure, got it there. Okay, can you complete the FPD? I have drawn one force for you. Can you draw the others? Can you draw the other forces? Done. How many other forces? How many other forces? Two. Two. Or one? Two. Two. Which two? Raise your hand. Which two? If you are saying two other forces, which other two forces? Yes. Empty downward. Very good. Yes. Upward. Well done. What's your name? Harshit. Harshit. So, I hope the FPD is clear to everyone. Right? Mass is empty. Down. Is it in liquid? Yes. So, burn force. Up. So, what do we have to find? What do we have to find? Passive gravity. Asu. Passive gravity. Relative density, that is density of that block divided by density of water. Okay, 
So from this, see, if you want to find density of that block, you'll have to maybe find Fb or something. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So let's relate. This time, what will be the relation? Fb will be equal to. Can you tell me Fb's value immediately by looking at these diagrams? 20 liter, well done. Clear? Next. See, Fg is 60 liter. Do you agree? It will change not that. Mass will change when you dip something in liquid. Right? So this is what is the 60. 40 kilogram, this has to be 20. Clear? So Fb have you did 20 liter. Okay. Now Fb is 20 liter. Based on this, we have to find density of that solid. Okay, what's the FB formula? Raise your hand. Punishment day up, don't worry. Raise your hand if you remember FB formula. Okay. Rho V immerse G. Rho V immerse into G. Uh, I have a few questions for you. What's the rho? Here? Rho density of uh, water. Huh, liquid, so rho L. Avoid confusion. Okay, that's V immerse is the volume inside into G. Right. What's your name? Anuj. Anuj. Okay, sit down. This is what we have. But I have to find current. Yes, liquid is water. Fine. No problem. We don't have to find V immerse on anything. We have to find specific gravity, means we have to find density of that block. How much can change curry support to get density of block? Use your brain. Tell us. But do not go. Think about it. From this step, can you convert it? So you can write everything in form of density of that block or density of solid, whatever you want to call it. Raise your hand if you have got an idea. And don't worry if it's wrong. Yes. Are you sure V immerse is equal to mass of block into density of block? Are you sure about that? Why don't you verify it in your notebook? Does it work? Check it. Ah, this technique So V immerse will be actually the whole block's volume. Yes or no? So Vb is Mb, mass of block upon rho B. Clear or not clear? Let's put it there. So Lobe Mb, that mass of block into G divided by rho B. Okay, does this help? Does this help? I'm come take you out of this canoe. Like how we are okay, next step to current. That's what is required. What do we want to find? Rho B. We don't want to find mass. We want to find Rho B. So Rho B, what is the same? Do we know other values? This, of course. Mg. Do we know mass of law? No, but we know Mg. Don't we? Ragnago, why are you waiting? So, what do we get? Rho B upon Rho W directly. Are we going to specify gravity? So, tell me what will be the answer. So, Arthur's idea works, didn't it? You die on the other side, and then you have to use it. You have to use it. It's normal. Don't get frustrated. I think I did mention. When I have a position of someone, I say, I'm going to get you a little bit of an answer. You have to get a little bit of an answer. Okay? So don't get frustrated. Done, right? 20 by 60. You are in it. 60 by 20. 60 by 20. The answer is 3. Right? So, our question who can go to? I don't know whether you will be able to understand it, but Monday will come to And I know it's perfect. Listen to me. Without any other force, we get 60. 
But when you dip it in the liquid, it becomes 40. That is only possible if buoyant force cancelled to 20. That is from 60 it made 40. So 20 cut connect. Okay. So that means the buoyant force is 20. Now volume is completely immersed. Yes or no? So J volume no ama 60 thai. E volume no water ma khali 20 thai. Weight of displaced liquid is buoyant force. So buoyant force is 20. But uh, the weight of this solid is 60. 60, 20, 60, 20. You see that? 3. I hope you understood what I am saying. If that for the same volume, anu mass that you then water anu mass one third. That means the density is three times. I hope that makes sense. So if for one pen oida over agar see what I am saying. How is it called? If you have a question, you can join it. A is P in the middle. Right? Okay. Of course, some questions are long. You have to calculate. And everyone has to. Even I have to. Right? But there are definitely such gems. Put on a gem touch. Okay. That's so easy. Now, question number 8. A block of steel of size 5 cm by 5 cm by 5 cm is weighed in water. So it is weighed in water like this. Same situation. I hope that is clear. Right? Its relative density is 7. Similar quantity is given. Relative density is 7. Okay. Then apparent weight. Apparent weight means what? What is the meaning of apparent? What is the meaning of apparent? What do you think apparent means? Anyone? English no question there. What do you think apparent means? Apparent means yes or no? No. So actual or to actual or Apparent means what it appears to be. What it appears to be that is called apparent. Clear or not clear? Now appears to be means what? When you measure it, what will it show? That is called apparent. So here basically in this question we are to find T. Okay. You understood what I say? In this question, number 8, we have to find T. And other details are given. So why don't you draw a similar diagram, draw FPD and get started. Come on. Draw the FPD and raise your hand. Okay, when you are done, when you have finished drawing FPD, you may raise your hand. Who understood 
नहीं मास हो तो वेट के डिपेंड कराए एम इतनी थी तो इसको कहूँ मास टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री के जी ग्राम ने के जी में गणना पड़े ना ऐसा ही इनटू जी टेन क्लियर सो दिस इज़ कॉल्ड वन ग्राम फोर्स हाउ मच टेन रेस टू माइनस टू न्यू सिमिलरली कोई एम के वन के जी है आउट डे व्हाट इज़ वन के जी है वन किलोग्राम है वन किलोग्राम फोर्स मीन वेट ऑ